Other interesting cultural news, you have Bud Light Dolphins tweet is harpooned with mostly mockery and ridicule. Now, this comes to us thanks to X, also known as Twitter. And this is from Bud Light's specific profile, where I actually have to use my company profile since they blocked me for having the audacity. I'm replying to a simple tweet saying, thanks for reminding me to buy some Yaling. And I had a picture of a case of Yaling Light and Yaling Regular on my podcast table. They deemed that so inappropriate they had to block me. Pathetic, to say the least. Now, they say on this tweet, quote, hashtag fins up. If you're entering for a chance to score a seat at the Super Bowl by posting hashtag score a seat and hashtag sweepstakes, learn more here. And there's a picture of, I was going to say, someone holding a, what? That can't be real. I guess it is. So someone's holding a dented can of Bud Light with the little dolphin on it. And it got 218 likes. So it's actually more than usual. Got 16.6 thousand views. Again, they're promising free sports balls tickets and I suppose beer as well, which I don't know how many people actually want to win that. That have taste buds. But yeah, what? Again, who's in charge of their marketing? Why would you allow a picture? And again, it's not like the can is dented in half, but there are a couple of dents on the middle of the can, as well as the bottom. Are they perhaps they're pretending like this can is actually being, I was about to say enjoyed. It's not being enjoyed. Perhaps they're trying to imply more that the can is being consumed and they're, I guess that would be the natural dents if you're just holding it. I think it's also a very, I think it's a man's hand, but I can't tell. Kind of an androgynous looking hand. Definitely not going for that frat boy look. I don't see any, you know, those typical writing. Oh, never mind. But let's go in the comment section and see what it looks like. So, let's see. First one is Simon Ray's Rain. And they do the hashtag score a seat, hashtag sweepstakes. Which are, I was going to say, when is the Super Bowl again? Are they in the Super Bowl? Man. Yeah, I don't think. Who is predicted to go to the Super Bowl? The 49ers and the Ravens have the best odds, I think. I mean, have the Dolphins ever made a Super Bowl? I don't, I don't think so. And nevertheless, his first tweet is someone attempting to get a, you know, the free ticket. And Bud Light actually did respond to this person, which is surprising because earlier last week we were talking about how Bud Light actually didn't even respond to the few comments that were on their social media platform. And they say, make sure you complete this registration. So that's Bud Light responding to this Simon Ray's reign. Go to this profile. This person joined 2010 Twitter. They claim to be a coffee lover. All right. Sports enthusiast. Okay. And this person is mentally vacuous to say the least. Their whole profile is just reposting crap where specifically the stupid hashtag millions we're sending $100 to one person who retweets and follows millions. Do you prefer coffee or tea? I prefer a chance to win some crappy thing you don't really need in life. And their whole profile is just reposting for other Anheuser-Busch InBev brands as well, including Bud Light cans. Again, I, I, there has to be a program or a software that enables people to just have these profiles or just retweets everything for them for free or automatically. Because I can't imagine having so much time in your life where... You're entering all of these sweepstakes just on a chance that you might win some knickknack or doodad you don't really need. So, I was going to say, the per first tweet, I don't know if they're just mentally vacuous or just a robot, but needless to say, I don't think it's going to increase the brand loyalty because, again, they just want free crap. They're not actually building a relationship with the customer. I mean, useless, basically. Now, the second comment, and this is actually one of the most popular ones, is Brad Morgan. He said, quote, Scored a goal. Yay, sports balls. Go team. And it's a picture of Dylan Mulvaney with a smile more awkward than Ron DeSantis or mine, which is saying something. And it's Dylan Mulvaney, Mulvaney again, Ballage Command dressed up as a woman, specifically mocking Audrey Hepburn with the hairstyle, the necklaces, the gloves. Again, that's a really awkward looking smile. It got 18 likes. As well as a, that's one of the most popular ones thus far. They have someone by the name of Candy Coker, no likes, but this person actually posted a picture of a can of Bud Light by a plastic 
Christmas tree on a table. And she said, you know, hashtag like win free crap. I can't help but wonder, is this person real? She don't, let's see here. She joined in 2009, has 200, no, 382 followers. And again, it's just another person who just retweets everything for free crap. Like every single stupid brand. So I'll say mentally vacuous as well. And again, in terms of volume, there are a lot of, dare I say people? Or robots retweeting these are also not verified accounts and no one's liking these either it's just people who want free crap which again if you're Bud Light why would you not interact with these people why wouldn't you at least like their response or respond to it saying appreciate it, best of luck hope you win or some something silly like that but again let's see how many responses there are Let's see. Oh, come on. Oh, let's see. I mean, so they got 224 responses, and the only one that was real thus far, and the only one that got more than one like, was the one with the mocking of Dylan Mulvaney. And if we click the fun button that says, you know, what, what are you trying to hide, Bud Light? If you go to the hidden responses, you do get a couple more. A couple, I forgot the senator or congressman who was disgracing the building by having relations in the building. But there's a picture of that with someone holding the aluminum Bud Light bottle while the person is being serviced. Uh, that got five likes. And I'm trying to see if there's any other comments that actually got like any likes at all. But again, it's just people who want free stuff. Again, score seats, score a seat, sweepstakes. And as I scroll more and more and more, it's just, let's see, yeah, nothing. One or two people are actually, let's see here. Okay, here, here's another one. I found, I found, I found another comment that got more than zero or one likes. Someone by the name of Steven Milsom, this person said, quote, ha 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 ha, they put another gay icon on a can, unquote. And it is a... I forget the actor from the Hangover films, but it's a, at least the actor who's a doctor in real life, but he's in the classroom and he just, you know, puts his hands to yell and the text jumps on the screen and says, gay. They got three likes. And as I scroll through more and more, Frylock says, quote, nope, won't want to be caught dead associating with your brand, unquote. They got four likes. More are brewing to the surface and not in a good way. Sturdy Throp says, quote, I don't own a Tucket and don't have a safe space and will never drink another damn Bud Light, unquote. They got five likes. Someone by the name of Zuma had a, it's an old 20th Century Fox logo, but it's Photoshop, so it says, go F yourself. They got four likes. Claude Frog simply has a, a Photoshop can of Bud Light where it says, tranny fluid Bud Light. And they got five likes. Let's see here. Thomas Frost had a, ooh, this is a funny meme. Well, it's not really, yeah, it's, it's a collage. So the first picture is a before and after. Before Milvaney, it has a very large semi-truck of Bud Light with lots of materials. Then after, it's a truck about a fourth of the size. And it says, you know, after. Which, not technically to scale, so to say, since, again, they didn't lose 70% of their sales. They lost 30% of the sales. But nevertheless, we do get the point, and they got two likes. Let's see here. Scroll through more and more. Carl Remenick says, quote, Biden's face on a can, unquote. They got one like, which... At this point, you can't. I mean, I don't know how much. I don't know if it can hurt. Let's see. And that's it. So mostly, people not. So it's mostly just people who want free junk, not necessarily have an affiliation to the brand or trying to build a relationship with the brand. And again, just people ridiculing them and appropriately harpooning them. Pun, of course, intended. Thank you again, everyone, for taking the time to tune in. Again, we're trying to get to 4,000 subscribers by the end of January. So if you click that button, I would greatly appreciate it. Also, leaving a comment is a great way to give me some feedback. Let me know I could be doing better and better. Also, giving a thumbs up is a great way to help with the YouTube and Rumble algorithm so the video gets shared more often, helps the channel grow and develop. 
Also, don't forget to take time to tell your family, tell your friends, tell your coworkers, heck, tell your enemies, tell anyone and everyone. Just stay safe, fight the good fight.